Hello guys, this is the next Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this one we are going to create a simple landscape material. I use the environment that we created for the inventory tutorial and I will add a small landscape and simple hills. Just that we have something for that we can add the material. Now press create and here's our landscape. You can still see these lines that cross in the center of the landscape, but they will disappear as soon as we build the lighting. Now I create this very rudimentary hills. The focus will be on creating the material for the landscape, which I'm going to do now. First I create a folder called Material and inside of this folder I right click, select Material and name this Material Landscape. Alright, now double click this and the Material Editor will be opened. And I will also show you some tips and tricks and shortcuts. First I add a landscape coordinate and set the size to 6 as a good value. And then we have to add the textures. There's a shortcut. Just press T on your keyboard and press the left mouse button. And with that we added a texture 2D node. And then I select a diffuse texture from the starter content. This is gravel and I will use it as a base texture for the landscape. Ok, now let's add a second diffuse texture, again T and left click. And I select grass, also from the starter content. Ok, now let's connect the landscape coordinate to the UV pins of the texture 2Ds to define the size for these textures. And after that we are going to add the normal maps for these diffuse textures. Again press T and left click and then select the normal map for the gravel and the same thing I do for the grass. So I think that's quite simple. Now let's connect again the landscape coordinates to the UV pins of the normal maps. And after that we have to define the metallic and the roughness of the landscape material. For the metalness I want to set the value to zero. Again, a cool trick, press the one key of your keyboard and left click to add a float value. This will be the metalness and connect this here to metallic. This is a constant value. If you want to define a parameter that you can set from the outside, you press the S key and left click and this parameter I name Roughness and set the default value to let's say 0.8 and connect this to the Roughness pin. Alright, now comes something a bit more complicated, but not too complicated. We will add so-called layer blends for landscapes. I won't go into detail for weight blending or height blending or something like that in this tutorial. I will come back to this topic in a future tutorial. Let's just create this material for the first one, for the first layer. This will be the gravel layer. I will use weight blending and I set the preview weight to 1. Then I connect 
the output of the gravel node of the texture 2D to this layer. Now I'll define a new layer for the grass and this one I will set to height blending. Then I connect the output of the grass texture to the layer grass and the height of the texture to the height grass. Then I connect the output of the layer blend to the base color and we can already see this preview here of the landscape material. Okay, now let's again add a layer blend and this will be for the normal maps. The first layer is again weight blending and the second one height blending, as before. Now I'll connect the outputs of the normal maps to the appropriate layers, but the height layer for the grass I connect with the height of the grass diffuse texture. And the last step is to connect the output of this layer blend to the normal pin of the landscape material and now we are ready. We can save this and can switch to the landscape and apply this material for it. Okay, first I drag the created landscape material to the landscape material slot and we are ready to use this. Almost. Select the paint tool, but before I can paint I have to create so-called layer infos. Select this little plus icon on the right and then Weight Blended Layer. Now you choose a folder where to create the layer info. The same for the grass. And I choose the material folder where the material is created in. And now I select the gravel material. Choose a very large brush and paint everywhere on this landscape. This is the base material for the landscape. Okay, really nice. A nice base texture. But now let me insert some grass. I select the grass material or the grass layer. Decrease the intensity and the size of the brush and paint in some grass here on these hills. But you can see that the first time I paint the shaders have to be recompiled. But now you can see the grass. You can also hold the shift key down and then with the left mouse button pressed you can take away some parts of the of the layer you just painted. Okay, I don't want to add too much detail, this is just for demonstration and now I will rebuild the lighting. And now let's start the game and see how this will look like. Hey, quite nice. 
I mean, this is not a really professional landscape, but it's a good starting point for getting used to work with landscape materials. Okay guys, that's it for the landscape tutorial. I really hope you like this and if you do then let me know and subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are online. Thanks a lot for watching my tutorials, for being here, for supporting me and I hope you come back soon to JNM.